Well, good morning. It's, I don't know what day it is. When we're somewhere on the Alcan, we headed out early as soon as the sun came up, had coffee and thought, you know what, we could use a little more. Life on the road, how do you make coffee? How do you get by? Here's the setup. So here's how morning breakfast works on the road. We uh, have everything kind of on a non-skid deal here. All we do, we don't use an actual coffee like one of those drip things. What we use is this thing that makes hot water and then pour it into a coffee press. This is a really good one too. Not endorsed or anything, but it's a Mueller stainless steel double wall, which is nice. If you've ever had a glass one, you put the coffee in, you let it steep for four minutes, and then by the time you pour it, it's eh, lukewarm. So they say to do it properly, you just preheat it with hot water. We've been boondocking for several days, so we're in conserve water mode. So we don't do that. But this is the setup we use. We really like it. And it works out well, especially, again, since we're boondocking day three or four now. So we're uh, side of the road on the Alcan. I know what you're thinking. How do you keep your hair looking so good? Not easy. Trade secret. Keep watching. Maybe I'll help. Anyway, so found something kind of cool here. Check this out. Now, this is something I can totally dig. I mean, you know, all they are is garbage cans, obviously. This is kind of cool. I don't know if you could see it, but looks like people kind of leave their trademark stickers here. Not sure what they all mean. This is really cool. And, uh, I don't know. I kind of dig it. I took off this morning while they were still in bed. Figure get some miles under our belts. We're up to 10 bears so far. All black bears. They stick out pretty easily in the morning. Bus update. So far, we're running really well. We have a couple things that are, you know, a drip here and a drip there, but that's to be expected because it's not a Toyota. But I do have to say, we're very satisfied with how things are going so far. We're getting, still getting seven and a half miles to the gallon. Haven't torn the tires off yet. Still have the step. The one thing though, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it real well. But yeah, we're getting dirty. Getting that Alcan dirt thing going on. I suspect the whole thing's gonna be brownish gray by the time we get there, but I don't know, maybe it just enhances to the patina. We're definitely logging some kilometers. The speed here is, uh, it seems to average about 100 kilometers per hour, except for when you're in a construction area. Now this part here, I guess I'd call it half chip seal, half paved, which is why the bus is so dirty. But all in all, having a great trip. public dump station which is better than any dump station we've ever seen before so we figured it's about time that I show you how to hook up uh, how to top off your fresh water system where the water goes in our camper I've modified it with a quick disconnect because it's really hard to reach in here you have to pardon my broken latch here 
It's another German story. <laughs> this is super high pressure. So I have to be really careful. So what I'm gonna do to be careful is I'm going to open it up first. See, mine's got a solenoid for the water fill. I'm gonna turn that on before I do anything. That way I don't blow up my plumbing. I've got one of our quick disconnects. Hopefully I remember to get it back. I've already flushed this hose out. I'm gonna put our quick disconnect on the city line. As I connect the city line to the bus, I'm gonna verify that it's open and now I can just turn it on. So now for Wonder Lodge, what we do in order to check to know if it's filling or not, it's got an overflow for the fresh water tank down here. So all I really do now is just sit and wait and wait for it to overflow. Once it overflows, I make sure to shut it off here again so I don't blow up our system and then I close it off. So we are in Fort Nelson and like Larry was saying, awesome dump station and water refill station. They've got this really cool sign for people that either don't have the mile post or not know where they're going or whatever for services. Unfortunately, it says open or closed, so you kind of know. Most of them are open. What we found is that a lot of them are only open for longer term, like they don't let you do a night or two. And then they also, actually some are just closed in general. Or if they're open and they do short term, they only do short term to um, Canadians. So when we call places, I, I have to ask, A, are they open? B, do they have a spot? And C, are they gonna open up for us? So I wanted to come over here, check this out. I thought our fire pit was big. And it looks like they give you firewood to enjoy. How awesome is that? You got a little picnic area. I think I saw there's disc golf course back up behind here. Uh, there's some kind of a Fort Nelson historical something, but it's so faded it's kind of hard to read. I love how they have garbage cans everywhere, even on the side of the roads. I think that really helps keep everything clean. There's a campground right across the way called Crazy D, oh no, Triple G Hideaway. There it is. And they also have a dump station and stuff, gift shop. Looks like a really nice little campground if you make it this far this way. Um, there's the Heritage Museum over across the way. Looks like fun, but you know, we're not supposed to be recreating, so we're not going to hit those this time. But hopefully soon we'll get on the road once Canada opens up again and get to enjoy some more of these sites. So, so now that we're full, I shut it off here and then I turn off the fill inlet so I don't blow up our plumbing system. <laughs> yeah. Stopped at this overlook. You can kind of see snow capped mountains. These are the Canadian Rockies. That's the hill we just came up on. And we pulled off over here. We're letting the bus cool off a little bit. Apologize for the dirty windows. Morgan is learning how to clean them. Look at how dirty they started off to be. Look at these guys. Definitely have the Alcan road grime. She's gonna need a good bath when we get to Alaska. Hear that truck's really working. 